coaching staff, myself included, sure. you've really enjoyed the process, okay? <coughs> and you've really faced adversity throughout the season and kind of wiped it off your shoulders and just dealt with it and moved on and gotten better, okay? That strength has gotten you here, okay? And things that I like to talk about are more real-world stuff, <coughs> and I'm looking at this tonight. You got three number one seeds and you got Bellevue, okay? Three number one seeds, you got Bellevue. They think they're better than you. All three teams are like, I would, you know, the winner of the Union Wrestling they want you to win. Because they can beat you. Cornerstone wanted you to win because they can beat you. They want you guys to win because they look at you guys and they're like, nah, we can beat them. So that's motivation enough to go out there and show them something else, okay? And this is a nice thing. They got all the pressure. Bethel felt pressure, didn't they, on Saturday? They do. Okay? They're supposed to win. Now, learn from, like, you see NC tournaments, all that stuff. Teams make a little run to the Sweet 16, then they lose. Teams make a run to the Final Four, then they lose, okay? Can they keep the momentum going? I know it's a short break, but we got a break. I'm excited to watch you guys play tonight. I got the best seat in the house, okay? And I can stand up when I want to. Mm. Must be nice. It's enjoyable, okay? And I'm just looking forward to watching you guys play basketball all night. They got a great team, okay? But we'll find a way to get it done. And the nice thing about this, go out there and just play loose, okay? In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter, okay? But for us, it means something. I was reminded of that again this morning. Life will always give you reminders about what's important. Something you don't know what's going on, and he's driving down this afternoon. My brother's gonna lose his job, okay? His company they work for filed for bankruptcy, Gorman's, and they're gonna close down their, their stores. He's worked for there for over 10 and a half years. Been promoted, you know, he's on a track to take over for graphic arts designs and stuff for marketing. They're gonna close their doors. He's got to go look for another job. You know, that's, that's real life, okay? This, this is a game you should go out there and have fun, okay? Enjoy it, okay? The more you enjoy this and don't worry about this, okay, and the situation, go play possession by possession like you're talking. We haven't played a great basketball game yet. We played really silly, okay, against Bethlehem. We didn't clock management. Free throws from our best free throw shooters. You just got to go up there, take deep breaths, focus in, breathe, visualize it going in, put it in. And go out there. The more fun you have tonight is when you play hard. You play hard, you communicate with each other, and you just enjoy it and cherish this moment. I want to just come sit down here so you can just look out there. And this is the game of basketball, fellas. This is everything we work for, and it's right in your hands, okay? So go take this opportunity. Only four of us get it, okay? You've earned it, okay? Going through your tough schedule, going through adversity, you have earned it, okay? Now it's time to go take it. Enjoy the moment, okay? When we were six and seven, I guarantee you, like, the coach is crazy. He thinks we were a Final Four team. Have I ever changed my tone? Okay. Well, now we're here. So take advantage. 